For decades, St Mary's Church in the town of Ipswich silently decayed. Built in 1450, a hundred years before the birth of Shakespeare, it was only spared the bulldozer after conservationists and four and a half million dollars of funding breathed new life into this sacred space. It will soon reopen as a centre helping people with mental health problems. We all need community, we all need emotional engagement and we can derive that in different ways, heritage being one of them and by coming here you can get a sense of how our lives are intertwined with the people and places of the past. In the last 50 years Church of England attendance has plummeted. Only one and a half percent of the population go to Anglican services. The declines raise some serious questions about what to do with hundreds of historic buildings that are no longer regularly in use. The story of churches you know, is the story of England um, and we have you know, a duty as a society to care for these buildings um, even if we go to church or we don't. Um, you know, these are really, really important community buildings um, and if we let them wither and die, um, you know, I think we're, we're going to feel much poorer um, as a society. As night falls, another 15th century church is unlocked to make way for a group of champers, people who camp in churches. So let's get this straight. Once upon a time that was used to bring coffins to the church and here is where you're spending the money. It may look like a spooky pastime, but the $70 a night fee helps to keep the building standing. We're about 90 kilometres away from where the Champers spent their night in a church here in King's Lynn and St Nicholas's Chapel. It's another English church that is rarely used for religious services these days, but despite the pews being empty, the bells are ringing. They've been summoning people to services this way for generations, but now tourists are pulling the ropes, with the proceeds going to protect the building. Some churches are even encouraging people to swap dumbbells for church bells and do this to stay fit. Around 20 Anglican churches are closed for worship each year. Many are sold or leased, others are repurposed. But as beliefs and traditions change, it's hoped these historic landmarks will remain the focus of active community life for years to come. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, in South East England.